SNES Drunk. Hey, welcome back to SNES Drunk Plays Star Fox. We're going to be taking on Titania in the uh, medium difficulty level 2 path. The planet Titania, Cornelia's resource, re resource, resource world has been overrun. Uh, how'd you like to live on somebody else's resource world? That's pretty shitty. Anyway, yeah, we have our first snow level. And we also have a lot of pop-up issues. These planet levels in this game are just not good. <laughs> stuff coming up out of nowhere. Anyway, what what we need to be able to do, we need to go around this thing, first of all, but we need to f uh, find the uh, weather module thing Oops, that is uh, causing the snowfall. It's not supposed to be snowing, apparently. So, we, uh, it's, it's, I, since I've played this a million times and the thing is in the same spot every time, what you're supposed to do is find out uh, where it is. If you can't find it the first time around, the, the level just loops. And I'll tell you right now, it is on the far right. It's right there. You just kind of fly through it. And there you go. If you don't, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't see it right away, the level will just loop until you find it, basically. And it's, yeah, it's in the same spot every time. And, uh, hey, two people were in trouble and neither of them were slippy, but you know what? I'm still gonna kick your ass for it. Fucking, whatever your name is, rabbit face. Peppy. <laughs> I have a hard time keeping their names straight for some reason. Especially in this game, probably because all they do is speak in gibberish. I think that may have something to do with it. Flippy, slippy, peppy, reppy, bleppy. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I like the backgrounds in this level. <laughs> Trying to come up with something to talk about. See, his let's plays are a little hard for me because I'm usually a pretty quiet person. So, hey, another person that's in trouble that's not slippy. It's pretty amazing. Whoa, look out. That wasn't good. Um. Yeah, so I've been enjoying some fine $21 Jameson out of a 750 milliliter. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that. Wow, I am rusty. Maybe I should put the bottle down. No worries, though. This, uh... At least, yeah, I'm, I'm relieved that this level is a little... And the boss, for that matter, is, is uh, something a little different for a change. Um, even if the level itself is kind of kind of Dullsville here, I mean, there's not a lot, not a lot going on. But uh, the the uh, the boss here, as you can see, this uh, huge creature-looking thing come up out of the ground. It's actually a structure. You fly into the thing. You got this thing, and he tells you bye bye. I guess he's taunting you like out of. Uh, bad villain in a Sylvester Stallone movie, but uh, yeah, this looks like something out of Hyperzone or something. I like it. And you're not restricted to this uh, path here. You can go left or right. You can shoot these things that come out and shoot lasers at you and eventually try and crash into you. And this thing comes up from way back here and you just hammer the shit out of it. Whoa, and these things come colliding into you. Look out! Shit, but I got them just in time. Wow. See, normally my the overpowered laser should be able to just to to wreck those things before they hit you. But for whatever reason it wasn't happening there. Maybe I had a bad angle or something. Anyway, yeah, I just like the shift in back the I like the background there with the mountains. The bridge thing that you're flying beneath, the water beneath you. And, there, and go figure, there's 100%. Even though I got my ass kicked and I barely survived. I guess my teammates did just fine, but... Yeah, I want more proof that the percentage system, I just can't make any sense of it. And here we have Sector Y. How are the R-Wings holding... Or how are the R-Wings handling? If an, if an amoeba clings to your ship, use, the L or R, use L or R to get rid of it. I'm a big fan of... 
when the game interrupts its suspension of disbelief to, to tell you to use a button on the controller. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, you see those, those uh, things. This is a very tricky level. Um, you're going to see, like, stingray-looking things and uh, squid-looking things right there. You have to shoot them, like, once or twice. Peppy needs help, of course. He just happens to get in the way of my gunfire. Um, or laser fire, I guess. But if you, if you, all you have to do is, is shoot them once or twice, and then they flip back to their original color, and they leave you alone. But there is one Stingray in particular that is a very pissed-off Stingray that we'll get to in a minute. Here we've got these amoeba things that uh, Sergeant Pepper... Is that his name, Sergeant Pepper? that uh, he was referring to earlier. It's kind of like the asteroids, only these things cling to you. And uh, they really don't get in your way. You just have to fly around. Oh, there we go. And all you have to do to shake them is to just do a barrel roll. And uh, no problem there. Okay, here is the stingray that I was talking about. And yes, Slippy actually gives good advice there. Beware the big stingray. Do not shoot him. Or <laughs> it's over. It is gang over. This right here, this sequence right here is a trap. Do not shoot. Let Slippy take care of these guys. Let the stingray fly around. Because if you start shooting while that thing is beneath you, you will inadvertently hit it. And you will inadvertently hit it. And he will get pissed and he will change color to red. And he and you're dead. I mean, all it takes is like two collisions with that thing, and you are toast. So shoot very sparingly and be very accurate. I do like this level. I I like the emphasis on accuracy. Um, it, see the red thing in the very background there. You need to shoot those. Oh shit! I shot out a couple times. Did not mean to do that. Be very careful. Shoot each of these things just once, and do not hit the big stingray, or he will come after you. There we go. Nope, oh, hit the squid, get out of the way. Let's just take these things out like that. And then sometimes, for whatever reason, I think if I think if if you avoid the stingray, you get this dolphin thing that poops out power-ups. Like tons of them. So <laughs> I'm not sure what is that of a whale or a dolphin? And that leads up to the most annoying boss fight of the game up to this point. I hate this boss. What you're supposed to do is blow off his arms. Yeah, shoot his hands, really. And he gets really close to you. Like, really close to the point you're, it's impossible to avoid him. Now, I'm not sure the exact... Oh, shit. And not only does he swing at you like that, but he shoots missiles at you. Ugh. There goes my shield. You have to shoot down his arms as he's facing facing like that. You blow off his arm. I think you have to blow off his arms three times. Each arm three times. For him to go into his final form. Something like that. And it is hard because it is... Yeah, God, it is awkward. Because when you shoot... Get it effectively, he... he uh, Deta it, the hand detaches and it flies straight at you. Yeah, you really have to concentrate at this point. I think it's three times. I've gotten each one twice, I think. It's it's time consuming. It takes a while. I got stuck on this part a lot. And this boss a lot when I was a kid. Wow, I just barely avoided that thing. Alright. Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go, yeah. I'm not sure. I think I only got it uh, once or twice. Or uh, a couple times. And then he just spins around like this, and it's... A f suddenly it's really easy. <laughs> he does a final somersault to try and crush you, but he it's pretty easy to avoid, and that's it. Yeah, that's the most annoying boss up to this point. I mean, I... I appreciate that it's finally not, you know, it's not the same bosses that you've been fighting at, like, the first level, but, or the first path, rather, but, anyway, that about does it for uh, this episode of uh, Snestrunk Plays Star Fox, and, uh, let's see the percentage I get, 
here. Where are we going next? I don't remember. I think we're up to Venom at this point. Another hundo. Go figure. Alright, once again, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.